Welcome to DayZ on the PlayStation 4 and welcome to a public server and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can survive the first hour on a public server, the sort of strategies that I use, um, the um, tactics and my priorities I guess as the main things. Um, I'm quite lucky by the look of it in the fact that I've spawned in at dawn because if we go down to this beach this might be very dark in the video so you might not be able to see this but I'm running down to the beach and that's the sun over there now in Chernerus, the map of Chernerus, and first things first, make sure you've got the Daisy map, uh, the I survive, I Z U R V I V map to hand, because that's that's very important. If you look at the map of Chernerus, you'll know that there's only sea on the east coast and the south coast, right? And so, if you can see the sun and it's over the sea, it must be in the east, and the sun rises in the east, doesn't it? sets in the west so if the sun's going down behind um, land you know that that's west so the sun's going down and if, if you see it in the east it means that if you see it uh, coming well near the water <laughs> it means that that's east so I know now that I'm looking east so I must be uh, on the east coast so I get, I'll straight away I kind of know, know where I am now what are my priorities my priorities are very simple I want food and drink to start off with and hopefully a backpack and a sharp object so a knife to, in order to open cans but importantly cut um, stuff up for more bandages because if, you know, if we look at the so what I've spawned in with I spawned in with a can of drink and an apple so let's let's eat these straight away um, and then my tactic for doing that is to stay near the coast for quite a while because you'll see straight away I, with these two little uh, upturned rowing boats I found a can of uh, spaghetti didn't I and just a can of Mad Monk fast there so we might as well eat this apple as well so what I'll do is I'm just going to run along the coast gathering supplies because uh, I want enough food and drink to keep me going for you know an hour if, if you get yeah, like a couple of spare cans of coke um, a couple of spare tins of food um, you know you could go you'll also find near these um, um, these upturned rowing boats uh, you'll often find uh, dry bags um, which are one of the best types of rucksacks you can have in the game as long as you don't mind having a brightly covered colored one because what they do is they give you um, ability to uh, you can bury them if you find a shovel. Now, we've we've just come across an opportunity here to figure out where we are. Normally, I would stick along the coast, but at this point, the road comes close to the the coast, and we've seen a sign. So straight away, we can look at this sign, and then if you go to the I Survive map. Um, we know we've got uh, Barisno to our left. You get, you do get used to the names after a while. Um, going inland, and then further down the coast is somewhere beginning with C. That way. So what what town's that? C B E T. If you type into the search box on, uh, oh, it's not coming up. All oh, right, Svetlajarsk. Okay, yeah, right. So now I'm pretty sure I know exactly where I am. So Svetlajarsk is four kilometres away, while to my um, west, one kilometre away is Burizno. So, and I know I'm on the coast. So I can zoom in and I can have a look and I can work out pretty much exactly where I am. And I can mark that, mark my position on the I survive map. 
so I know where I am. Good, so, so that's great. Now there, there aren't any buildings around here, I can see, so I'm still going to nip back um, because north of me is is lumber mill, which would be a good place to loot up and find other things like maybe uh, better clothing, um, maybe some sort of gun like a pistol and a shotgun, that that sort of sort of lightweight gear. But the, this this early game, this first hour for me, is just all about gathering the basic resources: food, drink, a knife backpack um, an axe is something I really like to have because they're good for one-shotting zombies also down on, on the beach here there aren't any zombies down here um, so you don't have to worry about getting attacked and also they don't tend to be that many players or if they are players they tend to be fresh spawns um, and they're not much of a threat and although you might come across you know the occasional griefers and bandits and and gits basically that like sh shooting people who are freshly spawned in Right, nice hat. Um, you know, you probably won't find find too many of them. And even if they do shoot you and kill you, it's not the end of the world because you know you just spawn in again. You you, you haven't lost much. Um, if I were to spawn in like this and I was near to one of the cities, to be honest, I would probably run away along the coastline, away from the city, um, again to get all these basics before I went in because it's very easy. In this first hour to not have enough food not enough not have enough drink and then to um to starve to death or die of dehydration where only, you only need a few things a few cans a few drinks to uh, to keep yourself going
Okay, so we're coming into Lumber Mill now. Um, I can check the map and see where this bridge is, and we've got a lighthouse down there, so I roughly know where I am. Oh, there's a couple more boats over there. Let's go and hit these little boats. Now the other thing you need to start worrying, out as, worrying about as well in this first hour is the state of your shoes because they will start to wear out pretty quick. Okay, dry. I don't want a dry sack, I want the big dry bag. Oh, let's just check see if there's anything in it. Nope. Oh, some netting. Um, don't want it yet. Because if we check our shoes we can see... Yeah, they're still pristine, but especially things like... Um, trainers, uh, athletic shoes, uh, sneakers, they wear out pretty quick. There's another boat here. Right. Another dry sack. Again, don't really want a dry sack, want a dry bag. There's another boat here. Nothing there. Okay. So, Lumber Mill lies before us, so now we need to be careful because we're going to start to move into zombies. Let's just check what we've got. So we've got a spare drink and we've got spare food. Um, oh, I have got a stone knife, that's interesting. But I wonder if they've added these back in again. Um, because that should mean that I can open... Right, the spaghetti. Okay. Okay, we won't open it at the moment, but I will keep the spaghetti in my hand, because I haven't got a weapon. Um, and tins of food are actually very good weapons. In fact, your your fists are very good weapons as well. Don't worry about... If, you, if there's one zombie, for example, you take one zombie, you just punch him in the head. As long as you punch in the head, sort of like this, with your bare hands, you'll take him out quickly. If you've got a can in your hand, you can take out a zombie in two hits with a can. Um, so they don't have much time to do much damage. Now, of course, if there's more than one zombie, that's when you have to start being very careful, because a zombie takes about ten hits to kill you, but all of a sudden, you, you know, two zombies, and they can kill you in, you know, it's only five... Right, flashlights, so we'll take that. Won't have a battery in, but that's good. All right, plastic bottle with some water in. That's good. So... I always think it's a bit odd that you can't... There's no option... You can't empty a plastic bottle. <laughs> you know? You've just got to drink it. And the, you know, one way that you can do biological warfare against your fellow uh, daisy players on the same map is fill water bottles with... Ooh, where's my can gone? Did I drop it? Fill water bottles with um, dirty water. Where do I pick the tin up from? I did have a can in my hand, didn't I? Did I swap it? I must have swapped it and dropped it. I don't know where it's gone. Came up here, didn't we? Oh, there it is. The, hmm, the inventory's still a bit glitchy on PlayStation. Sometimes a line of inventory disappears. Okay, but what we'll do? Let's have that ready in your hand. Now, I just want to test something. Actually, if we go there, if we find some clothes. All right, we've got a backpack. Great. So we've now got more carrying capacity. But we've still got to be very careful because we... I mean, this stone knife might be useful to, to cut things up. Now, in front of us is an industrial area. Um, which won't be good for food um, and drink. But will be good for finding something like um, axe, work boots, work gloves. Maybe maybe a work jacket or something like that. Because now I've got enough... You know, I've got spare food, spare drink. I know I can stay alive for a little bit longer. 
Trees are always good to have a look around under if you need trees, just to see if there's any apples or pears have fallen down, obviously underneath the fruit trees. But now, as we're moving into a built-up area, you need to start thinking about zombies. They will be here. There's no point taking unnecessary damage if you don't need to. But now we're just going to methodically go through these buildings looking for um, stuff. A potato? Great. Beanie? No. You don't have to cook potatoes, you can just eat them. What's that down there? Some bullets. Worth picking stuff like that. It's worth picking, picking up any bullets, any shotgun shells at this point. If I were to come across another player, and they, I would tend to be friendly at this point, so I would put on chat, and I would, um, you know, you know, say hello to people, that sort of stuff. Rather than being aggressive, or I'd run away. Big bit of a car door. Once we've got um, a knife and hopefully an axe, maybe even a spade, something like that, um, we then start to go into to, to wants. Then you can think, right, okay, so what I want now is I want to start, start to think about better weapons. Um, a compass and really for things like that often you've got to go inland um, and it's good to get away from the coast as well anyway because whoop, went into the throwing animation there because at the coast you've got fresh spawns who like sometimes like nothing more than killing you <laughs> to take what little stuff you've got um, and also I think the daisy map looks best um, in the countryside with the little villages. I think the big towns, I mean, we know that the performance isn't brilliant, so it all gets a little bit um, jerky. Right, okay, so, working boots. Now, I'm going to pick them up. Let's see what state our shoes are in. Okay, they're still pristine. So now I've got, so now I'm, I'm, I'm really happy now because I've got a spare pair of shoes because you can die from um, your shoes wearing out and uh, you get bleeding on your shoes. Also remember with things like ladders, alright oh so we've got a, um, a crowbar so let's put that away and let's put that in our hands so nice weapon, take down zombies um, yeah if, if, if you if you see things like ladders and you're going go up and down ladders, don't slide up and down them because you'll end up with cuts on your hands um, unless you're wearing gloves if you're in gloves, you'll wear out your gloves. So it's best, unless you're in a rush. Now, trains can be very good for for, for stuff. Ooh, truck battery. Truck batteries will be vehicles that are available in the game. Not yet, though. What colour boonie hat is that? Is it a black boonie hat? Yeah, it is. Right, let's get rid of my blue one. Let's wear the black one. You'll find lots of things that will come in very useful later. Um, like jerry cans for... That's full of fuel, that one. And we make a car or get a generator running. Remember that the loot in DayZ is location specific. Right, for example, this is a guard house here. So we may find some police stuff in here if we're lucky, a weapon. Uh, maybe a stab vest. Oh, right, we got a can of drink. Good, so we got another spare drink. So. I haven't come across any zombies yet, which is uh, quite unusual. Oh, 
damage looking around though. So again, one zombie, no problem. Two or three zombies, very dangerous. Can spoil your day very, very quickly. Right, so I don't think you can... What condition is the pea coat in? Badly damaged, right? We don't want that one. I can hear zombies outside, so we need to start being careful now. Oh, there he is. In fact, what I'll do, let me show you how easy it is to kill a zombie with a tin can. So, just before he arrives, there you go, two hits with a can. But again, what I was doing there, I was aiming for his head. You see, I was kind of looking fairly upright. Sometimes you might find it easy to go into first person mode. To aim for the head, two shots with a tin can. Which is just as good as, if not better than a knife, um, a machete, things like that. Okay, a leather sewing kit. They're useful for fixing uh, backpacks and stuff. They're quite heavy though. Is there any problem with them? You know, they take up a lot of slots in your backpack. Oh, zombie just came out of that building, didn't he? I don't really want to get involved with too many zombies at this point. In fact, what I'm going to do, let me just go back inside this house. Let me just consult the map to see where we want to go next in Lumber Mill. There is a fire station here. Good, good, good. So if I head west... Um, we should pick up another road. Let's have a look. Let's figure out where we are. So let's have a look. That is a... Where's the lighthouse gone? Okay, this should be a building with a piano in here, this one on my right. So let's just check this out so we can just get our bearings. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so this is one of those houses with pianos in, which are marked on the map. And also, I know I was near to a guard house, wasn't I? Right, I think I know where I am. Maybe, actually, maybe I don't. <laughs> Guard house and piano. Let's just have a quick look around here. These industrial units so it could be right, a lock. Again, that comes in very useful later on in the game. Oh, wait a minute. This could be the fire station. If it is, I'm exactly where I need to be. Yeah, this is the fire station, right? Yeah, I'm exactly where I need to be. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Right, okay, so what I'm looking for here is a nice jacket would, would be good. Ooh. And an axe, I'd really like an axe. Oh, a firefighter helmet. I could go full firefighter. Stick with my boonie hat for the time being. Let's take this guy out. Ah, 
right we've got our axe so what we can do now is we can start putting stuff in quick slots so we'll put the axe in that quick slot and we'll put the bat rags in that quick slot and that will do actually so what we can do now is we can quickly by pressing right bumper get our axe out and then if we're bleeding we can quickly get our rags out now these, oh, got some bandages in the firefighter pants now let's just put the axe away and see what condition these pants are in they're damaged but my trousers are probably damaged already are they? the pristine they're probably going to give me more protection in terms of a um, and then just remember to swap everything back over in terms of if it starts raining oh wait a minute what condition are these in they're worn so they're in better condition than those ones so put them on um, I'm going to drop my crowbar now because I've got an axe instead so I'm more happy with that at the moment it's still difficult to, if not impossible to get stuff off zombies like I should be able to get his hat off him but I can't I mean it could be ruined I guess that's, that's the reason they'll probably give um, uh, that's the tower I don't think I really want to go up there but let's have a look it should be nice to have a can't get through that door Just leads. Alright, here we go. Oh, we might as well go full firefighter. Let's go full firefighter if we can. Let's drop that. Let's put that on. I'm a bit disappointed we haven't found a jacket. I'll tell you what we will do now. So we can craft rags with our jeans, but could we craft rags with our stone knife? No. Right, yeah, so we can craft rags with a stone knife, so that's good. So I was pretty lucky in the fact that I spawned in with a stone knife. You might not be as lucky unless they've decided to put it back into the game. Um, because rags are what keep you alive in, in uh, Daisy. So what I can do now is if I put them into my hand, I can combine them with them so I take up less space, put them back into my inventory, and we're good to go. So let's uh, just, just just see where we are. So we have got one, we've got two cans for drink, and we've got one can of food. We've got bandages, we've got rags. We have got a bottle somewhere, haven't we? Yeah, see, that's the bug. You see how it says bottle in the middle at the top, but I'm actually looking in my hoodie, but you can't see it. So I have got a bottle. Um, see if we can get it, bring it up again. There it is. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just quick equip that bottle. So what I want to do now is I just want to find somewhere where I can fill the bottle up. Um, so if we carry on heading to our left. we'll be able to find uh, a, a water pump oh right very lucky we've got a shovel the shovel is very very important if you care about persistence of your items in Daisy. 
what that what that means is if you just drop something on the floor in Daisy, it will just disappear you know, in a ma in a fairly short matter of time. Even if it's a backpack or something like that, it will just disappear. Um, if, however, you can bury something um, in either a dry bag or a um, uh, wooden chest or a tin, uh, a water p a pot. Uh, cooking pot, sorry, they call them, um, and various other special items. Anything in there, what's this? Will be uh, will be persistent, so it will stay in the world. Um, which means that, you know you can go around and you can start building uh, bases almost. You know where you're just burying stuff, but that's why you need you need the uh, the spade. Um, other ways of making things persistent are putting them in tents, putting them in barrels, putting them in boots of cars. Um, now, have I just got myself lost here by going through that house? Oop! <laughs> I didn't come in this side. A saw. Now, a hand saw is very good for later on as well. Because what these babies do is they mean you can manufacture things right. So I must have come right. Yeah, there's the that's the fire station. So we were going this way. So with the saw you can cut wood up, uh, cut up wood to make planks. Um, and if you can make planks, you can make what's that in there? All right. So that's a hiking backpack with a can of drink in. We. So what we can do is we can drop that, put that one on. Remember to swap everything over. I can hear a zombie, so I'm just gonna close this door. Right, let's see what state the backpack's in, see if it needs fixing. Badly damaged, so we want to put that in our hands. That means we can then apply the leather sewing kit to fix it. What you want to avoid with your kit, with your backpacks and your clothes, is them be becoming ruined. So stuff will go from pristine to worn to damaged to badly damaged to ruined. As soon as it's become ruined, it will lose its ability in terms of clothes to protect you from heat, cold, wet, that sort of stuff. And also at that point you can't fix it anymore. Now especially with backpacks, um, if it becomes ruined and you take it off, you can't put it back on anymore which can be really tricky. You can carry it, but you can't put it back on. So try and avoid them ever getting into that state. Guns as well. You know, guns will go pristine, then worn, then damaged, then badly damaged, then ruined. You can always repair a badly damaged gun. As soon as it becomes ruined, that's it. It's knackered. Right. Good. So, look, it's gone all lovely. So we're doing, doing all right at the moment. Probably do with some more food. another road flare. One of the things we need to think about is how we're going to... I can hear somebody running around. a gun. BK-18, that's a one-shot shotgun. I'm one-shot uh, hunting rifle. I'm not interested in that. If there's a shotgun, I'll take its shoes. Another can of drink. How are my shoes doing? Still pristine, so we'll keep those. Remember, we've, I've still got the spare shoes. on top of that. I still haven't got any gloves though. Alright, 
and we've come across what I was looking for, which is the water. Thing. So, whenever you come across a water um, fountain, a pump, it's always quicker. Oh, there's a knife there as well. I oh, will take that. Thank you. Um, fill up your water bottle, like so. drink it or if you're determined to drink it by the water pump you know drink it out the bottle don't just drink from the water pump because that takes forever so before we go and fill that up again let's just have a quick round okay so let's go and fill this up because you don't want to hang around water pumps for very long especially towards the middle of the map because you know they they attract um, nasty people I just want to get into this uh, police station now police stations can be good for weapons Ammo, things like handcuffs, obviously. I tend to find them quite disappointing at the moment. There's never as much in here as you you would like. The, the type of building you kind of hunt through, and you never you don't find anything. All right, okay, a stab vest. Uh, um, that protect me from zombies. That vest might be slightly bulletproof as well. Let's have a look. What does it say? Standard vest from my police consists of several layers and it can reduce the impact of knife attacks. All oh, right, so it's just just knife attacks then. Right, a CR61 mag. So we sh that is for a pistol. Oh, the Scorpion submachine gun. Sorry. At this stage, I'm not really b bothered about weapons. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he says. Right, so we've got a Scorpion. So, if we put the scorpion in our hand, let's take a look at it. So, it's damaged. We haven't got a repair kit, though. But, if we hit the reload button... So, <laughs> we've, got, we've got six bullets. So, we put it on semi-auto. Um, what we'll do is we'll assign that a quick slot. Um, I don't really want to advertise the fact that I've got a gun though at this point because I've only got six bullets and if someone sees me with a gun they might think oh no I'm just going to shoot this fella now there's some police trousers with some more food in let's put that away oh no 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 you go you go into my backpack let's see what state these oh no they're pants aren't they I've got firefighters pants I'm cool with my firefighters pants I've got a firefighter helmet I wanted a jacket is what I wanted Another stab vest. Another scorpion. Hasn't got any bullets with it though. Hasn't got any mags. And we're up to the top. Okay, so let's just take a second just to look at the map again. So I can now I can plan my next move. Because I have got we have got well, we've got uh, two road flares, so that's enough to see us through a night, basically. A torch, so if we find a 9-volt battery, we're good. We've got um, six bandages, so that's enough to repair ourselves just in case. Oh, actually, I forgot I got some bullets. What bullets are these? 9 by 19 what does the scorpion take? 30.38 ACP, okay. So if we came across a compatible submachine gun or pistol, we could load it if we had a magazine for it. Um, we've got a saw. Again, that's for later game for making stuff. What I'll probably be looking to do is, f if I find a barrel, I'll mark that on my Mac map and uh, I'll put things like the saw in it. Um, we've got a leather repair kit to fix our backpack. I haven't got a sewing kit for my clothes. Um, and we've got one, two... We've got four cans of pop and... A, a bottle of water so we've got more than enough drink to keep us going for a couple of hours we've got one 
two cans of food which again would keep us going for quite a while so as you can see I, I'm now set up to, to strike inland and the way that the loot works in Daisy is that the further you go inland the better it gets now obviously it gets more dangerous especially on public servers because there's people you know wandering around and you need to uh, stay off the roads you know use the roads but stay off to one side and and, and uh, look after yourself but now what I can do is because I know I can strike inland and not worrying I don't have to worry about looting all the time to get food I think right, where do I want to go so from where I am at Lumber Mill I don't really want to go north to Svetland Gas because that's quite a hot spot for, for baddies but there is we could look at going to Duprovka to the west, then up to Vishnaya Duprovka, through uh, Gvodso, and then up to the big city at Severograd. So that's probably what my next next move would be, with the idea of setting up a base at Severograd. I quite like Severograd. There's quite a lot there, but it's a little bit out of the way. Um, so that's what that's what my next move will do. So let's um, think about heading. West. So to get west out of here, what I want to do is okay. There should be a little road just if we come out of the police station. There, there's a road here that heads west. We might as well search these houses while we're here. We don't need a steak knife because we've got a kitchen knife. Matches? Do you need matches? Hmm. Depends if you're into starting fires and things. To be honest, I used to use them a, a fair bit when I first started playing Daisy. Um, radiator for a car. Um, but then, when you learn how to craft things, um, like how to make a fire, actually the only th the only thing you need to make a fire is a stone knife, because you can use the stone knife to cut the the bark off trees and to make a stick to make a uh, ooh, barbed wire um, and to make a, uh, fa a w wood drill they call it um, and the wood drill uh, basically is one of those spinny things that, that creates heat it creates friction um, so now what I need to do is I can follow this road here Now, it, what I'll do, because we're never, we're not gonna actually going to get far enough north probably to bump into people. If I thought this was a town where there were people around, I would be creeping around like this. I'd be staying off the roads, going through the back gardens. See how the loot, there just doesn't tend to be that much loot in these places. don't need a glow stick they're only ever really good for if you want to put them up of a backpack at night when you're trying to follow a friend that's another BK-18 BK-18 is a one shot um, hunting rifle if I remember rightly if it'll let me pick it up shit won't oh can't it won't let me pick it up oh well Let 
me show you how effective the uh, axe is against zombies. Oh, saying that. It took me two goes with that one. Let's go and see if we can find another one. If you look in here, there's like the little red, there's a little communist book in there. If my axe would get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this person was a party member or something. Right, there's a zombie. Hello, fella. That's a firefighter zombie. There we go. One shot hit to the... K one shot kill to the head. That's the beauty of the axe. So, what we're doing now is we're just heading... This is west. And then we're going to pick up a road that's going... Um, sorry, we're heading south... We're going to pick up a road that's heading west that's going to take us to Dubrovka. Uh, but I know it's just on the other side of these fields, so... We might as well just run across here. A good th rule of thumb is that if you can keep as unencumbered as, as possible, you'll be able to run further... Uh, it's not a track, it's a proper road. That must be... It there, I think. Yeah, so it's past some barns, and there are the barns there. Then this is the road to Dubrovka. Um, so, there we go. Now, I know it hasn't really been an hour. Um, I know the title of this video is Surviving the First Hour in uh, Daisy, but hopefully this has given you a good idea of how, well, what my priorities are um, in terms of uh, when I start on a public server. And for me, that's all about food, drink, um, a sharp object so you can cut yourself more bandages, finding a backpack, finding some different clothes, finding an axe, um, finding a few more bits of food and drink in order to be able for you to have enough uh, stamina if you like in terms of having food and drink to survive getting inland where you'll find the better loot. But anyway that's enough from me, if you've got any questions or comments please put them down below. Now remember um, we do have a Daisy PlayStation 4 private server. Hopefully we get an Xbox One soon. Um, and if you're over 18, you can come and join the server. And then you can come and uh, pay a little bit of money if you want. And you can join the server. And I'll put the links down below. Uh, you can also support the channel through Patreon or become a YouTube member. Um, all that good stuff. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you.